We built a wall and the beavers are going to pay for it. Hey there outdoor YouTubers, it's Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. And you know, about two years ago, we started having problems with beavers out at our deer camp. The beavers were plugging this culvert that we had on the camp road and causing water to flow over the road. So we would have to unplug the culvert, you know, to keep the water from going over the road. And then the beavers would come back a lot of times that very night and plug up the culvert again. And it was kind of this back and forth game we had going with the beavers. Whoa! Whoa. We unplug the culvert, they plug the culvert. Don't we get unplug swept the away. culvert, they plug the culvert. And that just couldn't continue uh, like that any longer. So what we had to do is we brought in our good friend Steve, who is an expert trapper, and he set some traps around the camp, and he promptly removed all the beavers from around the camp. So, for a little while, we were actually kind of catching up to the beavers in these culvert games. We even added a piece of grating out in front of the culvert to make it harder for the beavers to get inside the culvert and plug it up. Now we figured we were really starting to get the upper hand on these beavers. But, the next year, the beavers were back. And they were back with a vengeance. The good thing about the grate was that the beavers couldn't plug the culvert up down inside the culvert. But, it probably actually made it easier for them to plug the culvert overall. So the beavers were back to plugging up the culvert, causing the water to flow over the road, and we were back to cleaning the culvert. So we needed to come up with a new plan. We needed to come up with something big. We needed to come up with something spectacular. We needed to come up with a beaver deceiver. So I'll kind of go through how me and Scott put the beaver deceiver around the front of the culvert. First, we put a lot of bug spray on. Then we pulled that old chunk of grating out from in front of the culvert and proceeded to clear out an area in front of the culvert for our beaver deceiver.
Then we took this roll of four foot fencing, rolled it out, and cut some sections out of it. For the floor of our beaver deceiver, we took a 10 foot section of fence and an 8 foot section of fence and overlapped them slightly and then wired them together. And that would be the floor of our beaver deceiver. Then we took a 24 foot section of that fence and that was going to be for our walls. We bent it around in kind of a trapezoid shape with one small opening for the culvert itself. Then we took that trapezoid wall section, set it on top of the floor and wired it to the floor. Then the outside sections of the floor that extended past the walls, we bent those upward and wired those to the walls. Then we added some scrap pipes and angle iron to the floor just to give it some stability. Then we temporarily removed the pipes we had for that old chunk of grading. And then it was time to put the beaver deceiver into the water. Then, the next thing we did was pound in some posts and wire the fencing to them. Then we did put those original pipes back in and we added a small section of fencing on top of the culvert. Now it was really starting to look kind of beaver proof. The idea behind the trapezoid shape is to give the beavers a lot more surface area that they would have to plug up to actually plug the culvert. And also the side walls of the beaver deceiver give the beavers kind of a weird angle to work with in comparison to the flow of water. This is the beaver deceiver the next day and as you can see we just threw that old hunk of grating in there for good measure too. But it doesn't look like the beavers have even tried to plug anything up. So I really think that we're starting to get the upper hand in these culvert games.
and here's the beaver deceiver several days later and again like you can see the beavers haven't even tried to plug it up and the water level is way way down so we'll just kind of see how it goes guys we'll keep you posted on how our beaver deceiver is working out but hey guys remember to hunt fish laugh repeat this is Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching and God bless.